25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, that should do it. That should definitely do it. Oh! Subscribe and slap the bell so you can turn on all notifications and never miss another video. Moose Army, the glass dome is officially finished for the bee army. Check it out. So right over here, we have all my skeletons and also my animals. We have all the bees. And the middle, look at this. This is a super duper secret entrance where the bees can actually fly through, go outside, and do whatever they want. Now, this video is going to be super action-packed. I got a bunch of your comments from the previous video. So a lot of you guys told me a lot of good things. And we're going to be making the changes. Look at this. Look at all these comments. Man, everyone's getting shouts in this video. And if you guys do want to get a shout out, just simply comment down below what I should do next. Also, I'm still super duper sick, so I'm gonna sound like a single for about a couple of days. I'm sorry about that, guys. The doctor said I got a sore throat, so it's not really the best condition I'm in right now to record videos. But I still gotta do it for the moose army because we always keep it 100. I sound like a single. <laughs> That's my single impression. All right, so the first comment is going to be from Harriet A. Moose, you should call your horses Philip and Dora. Also build a big aquarium. That would be a super cool idea. So in the future, we will build a big aquarium somewhere out here, like a giant fish tank with all the fishes and stuff like that. Now, I've also created a small little plot where we're going to start our uh, moose house. So right over here is going to be the moose, uh, moose craft head house okay there we go perfect so we're gonna build it over here now also i've expanded out the farm just like the people have asked me to do next comment is gonna be by viet protect village and breed them so you can trade with them yes so in the future we're gonna add a giant wall around our village all the way around here and we're gonna breed our villagers so we can pretty much just keep on growing our village and making it more secure the next comment is gonna be from samantha what do we got over here let's see so Samantha says, make a moose milk farm be a farm separate from other animals so you can make it bigger. So pretty much everybody said that I should make a moose milk farm. So an entire separate location um, where we have all the cows and stuff like that. And we create like a moose milk, a little bit of moose milk farm. So we will do that in this episode, which is going to be super awesome. But first, we're going to work on our crop farm. Now I also want to put a small little section right here. That's going to be a way for the bees to go through our glass dome into this greenhouse uh, where they can make the crops grow faster. So that's going to be a super cool invention and let's start building it right now. So we're going to break down the cobblestone over here and we're going to actually push the farm back a little bit like I'd say like five blocks forward. I've actually extended it out over there as well as you can tell. So we're going to push it up to I'd say let's see one two three four five six so we're gonna start it right here and this is gonna be our green house okay so the entire thing is gonna be glass yes and we're gonna build um a small little entrance for the bees like i said before so also let's make sure we understand where everything's gonna go okay so let's go ahead and start cutting all this off and let's start building our uh, little contraption thing ladies and gentlemen i have a very special guest Lucy is my golden retriever. She's not exactly a puppy anymore, but to me, she's still a puppy. Ow, ow, don't look me, please. So, JV Store says, challenge. You should build a moose milk tower, which we're going to do in this video, and try to get Lucy. So, Lucy, we're going to get you in Minecraft. Are you excited? You're going to be in a Minecraft video. It's going to be so lit. Yeah, I'm excited, guys. Yay! Good girl. You're so fluffy. Look how fluffy she is. All right, so here we go. We're building up our greenhouse real quick. I want to make this a small little quick project. There we go. We've done all that. Now we're going to cover all this up with dirt, of course. There we go. So now we have plenty of space to pretty much do whatever we want. And best of all, check it out. This is all going to be glass. So we're going to start putting simply glass down like this. So we'll do about, I'd say, just high enough so we can make this work. So we'll do this. We're going to make it go straight and then down. So let's build a small little staircase here first, like so. I've also lowered down this like this little part that was here. There used to be a grass path. Now we made it the same uh, level so we can see better. Okay, so check this out. Here we go. Yeah, just like this. All right, so let's break this and this. Okay, now the bees can go through here like so. Perfect. And we'll make the bees go into our little bee farm here. How cool is that, man? This is going to be so sick. I love it. I love this little project that we did here. And done. All right, so Moose Army, that's not complete. Let's finish up the glass part of our house. 
Now, one thing I forgot to almost do is I want to make sure we have all the farms covered inside of our uh, inside of our farm here. So let's actually start labeling these things here. So first things first, we're gonna have our potatoes here. So potatoes. We're gonna have the beetroot here. Beetroot. How do you spell beetroot? Is it beet beet root? There we go. Beetroot. Okay. <laughs> How do you spell beetroot? Moose 2019. Okay. So potatoes. Uh, we got carrots. And we have wheat, okay? Now for the melons and pumpkins, we can do all the way in the back, including the sugar canes, okay? Now I did kind of set up a small little sugar cane thing over there, as you can see. Uh, but that's gonna be there for now. I don't really care too much about sugar canes. It's just all about getting the enchanting stuff done, of course. So uh, we almost have enough for an actual enchanting farm. En enchanting farm and bookshelf. What am I talking about, Moose? You're losing it, man. This sickness is getting to you, bro. It's getting to you, bro. Not like a cheat. Hey, little buddy. Do you want to be in my Minecraft world? I think she does. All right, so here's what we got so far. We built all the walls. Now it's going to be four blocks high. And I'm making the cool little entrance, too. Now, I'm going to keep a small little chest thing around here. I don't know where I'm going to put it just yet. Uh, but we're going to make sure we can keep all the chests for all the crops in here as well. And best of all, I can always have the villagers as well work on the stuff and do their little thing. Okay, there we go. The entrance is complete. Just like that. We'll put a door here and we'll be good to go. Awesome. So we'll have double chests here and we're gonna have uh, like a one block division here. Just like this. Perfect. Awesome. All right, so so far it looks pretty good. Everything's going great, Musami. I love it. I love what we got going on over here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. We're going to put the double chest in here. I don't have any wood on me, right? No, I got no wood on me. Um, and let's start working on the actual farm. And we'll do slabs in the middle so we can cover up the water. All right, so the water is covered. And let's start cropping our... Start, start cropping. Yo, Moose. Yo, let's start cropping. What does that even mean, dude? Oh, my gosh, dude. Being sick is not fun, honestly. Like, I've been getting constant headaches and stuff like that. But you know how it is. Everyone's been sick in the lifetime, of course. There we go. So... Let's make all of this the carrot farm stuff. So the carrots are going to go in here. Okay. So let's grab the carrots. Place them down. And then onto my left side is going to be for all the wheat. Or probably the potatoes. I kind of want to put potatoes there. Unlimited carrots. Yay. Awesome. Perfect. There we go. So there is an actual way to make all this automatic as well. So I'm going to just click a button and pretty much it's going to grab all the crops for me. Now, I don't exactly know how to make it, but in the future, we can figure it out and make all this automatic. First, let's actually make the basic version of it, then make the automatic version later down the line. Where's my beetroot? I need beetroot. Why do I not got beetroot, man? What? All right, so it's completely finished. Now, we're not going to build the roof just yet. We'll do that in a future episode, um, but let's really do a second floor right here. There we go. Perfect. Nope. Oh, I messed it up. And done. So like I said, we're not going to build the entire roof just yet. I don't know what we're going to do fully, uh, but I do want to make the bee farm go down. So right here is where we're going to start making the bee stuff go down like this. Uh, let's do this. Perfect. Awesome. Let's go back up over there and that should be good to go. Is everybody okay over there? All the bees are alive? Okay. This is kind of sketchy. I do think that the bees do fit between... Um, one block high, uh, like little things here. So they should be able to fit through here. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, we'll do the roofing of this entire greenhouse in a future episode. It's just going to take way too long and we don't have much time and my voice really does hurt. There we go. That looks pretty nice. All right. Awesome. Now that is complete. Let's make sure this also works here. There we go. Cover this all up. Okay. There we go. And this corner. Yay! Yo, check out this beautiful building that we got. It's so cool, dude. Amazing contraption that we built. All right, so let's leave this here. Make sure we put down some torches so no mobs spawn over here. Finish up this path. There we go. And we'll also add like a small little staircase so we can go into our little thing here as well. <laughs> Hello, guys. How's everybody doing? Hello. So, the next comment. Now, let's see what we got. 
Jeremy Pike says, build a mansion for the Moose Army and you and get an animal and name it Spartus after me, please. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, in the next episode, I will be building my giant Moosecraft head house right over here. So it's going to be built there. So let's go ahead and first of all, name a animal after him. So let's call him Spartacus, right? Spartus, Spartus. Perfect. Here we go. Let's do this. Spartus. Awesome. So who should we call Spartus? I think we should call the Beast Spartus. That'd be kind of cool, right? Yeah, let's call the Beast Spartus. Here we go. Where's the bee? Oh, you know what? Better yet. We can call... Oh, you, you're, you're gonna be... Your name is Jackie Chan. Okay. Uh, and I gotta still call these two guys. So who's gonna be Spartus? That's the confusing part. Wait, what about the Iron Golem? The Iron Golem can be Spartus. Yes. Yeah. Your name is Spartus. Please, let me name you. Yeah. Place, let me name you. There we go, Spartus! Awesome! Dark Angel Gotcha says, You need to make a moose milk sculpture. All oh, praise the moose milk gods. By the way, moose, you're the best. And definitely bring the squad. I mean, you Jeff the moose sculpture. It will be a lot of work, but worth it. Hashtag moose army. Hashtag hi yeah. Awesome. So, the future episode, we will build a giant moose craft sculpture slash statue. We'll put it somewhere in the city. I don't know just yet. Maybe like over there from the distance. We'll also put one for Jeff the Moose and other people. Okay. Unstoppable Kid says, more survival series challenge. Make a sky base like Dan TDMs and live there. Dude, that'd be kind of cool. We could build a sky base, like a little sky block thing over here. That'd be really sick. Bacon Man 870 Moose name a skeleton horse lightning also bees grow crops faster So put a farm in your big beehive when it's done. You'll need the flowers too. Perfect So this thing right over here is what's gonna make us uh, make the gr crops go quicker as well So let's go to call one of the skeletons um, Lightning that'd be cool. Here we go. We got lightning and Jackie Chan Jackie Chan Perfect so in the previous video, we did have a comment say to name one of our bees, it's Beecraft. So now that we do have a uh, name tag, we're going to do that. And someone also recommended Willow for one of the bee names. There we go. That's going to be all the names. Here we go. Let's put Willow on one of the bees. Here we go. I'm going to put on this right now here. Hello, buddy. Your name's going to be Willow. Hi, Willow. And then we're going to have you be Jackie Chan. You're gonna be lightning, and then where, where's the where's the other bee? It's bee craft. Where where's this bee craft? What is he doing? Wasn't it just here? Oh, there he is. Willow, and it's bee craft. Perfect. Now we have all the names for our animals. So where should we put the moose milk tower? I'm trying to think right now. We could put it here in that location, a giant moose milk tower, or I mean, our house is gonna be over here. The statue is probably gonna be somewhere inside this location like a moose crap statue and the moose block tower can be down here that'd be kind of cool so i guess and i do want to have some space to expand the the uh the, the farm just in case so we'll, we'll put the we'll put one right over there the moose block tower so let's find some space over here let's see right um i think right here would be pretty great yeah right in the middle that'd be sick also, Moose Army, in the future episode, I do want to have some space somewhere around here where we can build the giant Moose Milk Jug right here on the screen, as you can see right over there. That is actually from the Moose Mod series. The Moose Milk Tower is the Moose Milk Water Tower, which is filled with the Moose Milk outside. And then the giant Moose Milk Jug can be in a different location, like maybe over there or something. Or maybe on top of this location right here. Or on top of a Skyblock Island. That'd be super cool. Imagine like a Skyblock Island with a giant like, Moose Milk in the air. Alright, so it's gonna be a pretty big building, so we gotta space all this out. So we need, uh, it's a 3x3 three three inside, so I'm just going off of the picture that I have, okay? Now I have about, I think it's like a, oh, this is a really tough building, man, this is really tough. Okay, so we got, like this, okay? So the entrance is from here, you can actually go inside of it, alright? Then we have one, two, three, so one, so two block separation here, one, two, like this one two like this okay this goes up about three blocks high and then we use cobblestone walls after so that's gonna be three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty is pretty high but we gotta keep going 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, that should do it. That should definitely do it. Oh! oh, oh that save. Yo, that save was crazy. All right, so here we go. We're building the next part, which is going to be the cobblestone wall section here. Okay. Now, all of this does go in a little bit. So, it actually does this. It goes like that. Okay. And then it goes in like this. Perfect. All right. And then we got something like... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Hold on. I'm having a little bit of an issue here. It's a little bit hard building with cobblestone walls. This is so much more tough than you think it looks. It's actually so annoying building with this thing. Here we go. Uh, ah, dang it. I messed it up. Perfect. Okay. Now let's just do... Uh, let me try it. Cobblestone here. Perfect. All right. So let me show you what we got so far. We built a basic layer. Now the way that I did build this inside of the moose mods, uh, like the, the laboratory, I did have like a cool little pattern here. It's really hard to build in survival mode, all this stuff. Um, so in the future, we can go ahead and change it. But for now, let's just make it very basic. Okay. So we'll add in the details later on. I also do need concrete blocks. I did use, uh, I think it was gray or black concrete. So we don't have that right now. We did like two donuts, so for example, like that, that little small pillar was concrete instead of cobblestone, so it did look a lot nicer. And this is also all iron blocks, which you cannot really afford, unfortunately, just yet. Then like this, and like that. There we go. So I broke this. Okay, it was like this, I think. And then like this. Oh, jeez. This is not going so well. Yeah, something like that. That looks pretty good. There we go. Much better. So let's break this then. Perfect. There we go. Just break this apart and we should almost be done with our small little contraption. So we have one issue. We have to go to the nether in order to be able to get the glowstone to make this thing shine. We need to get a redstone lamps to make that little thing shine, the M logo. Um, and we kind of need iron blocks to make this look better. So I don't know what we're going to do just yet, but so far so good. So for example, let me tell you what's going on here. This needs to be concrete. This needs to also be iron blocks. The top needs to be iron blocks. And we need iron bars and also redstone and redstone lamps. So this is not an easy project at all. All right, so let's do this real quick. There we go. So the small little design that I did previously, which looked really, really nice. The only way to make this work temporarily, we're going to be using smooth stones. Still kind of a pain. I just don't like how it fully looks. But at least what we can actually do is make this be usable, okay? So, um, I'm trying to think right now. Let's see. So, we can have the Moose Smoke Tower elevated by two blocks. So, we can actually make this be usable, like I said. So, let's do this then. You can come out of here. Okay, so we'll elevate this up like this. Just like that. Alright, so we'll make it be two blocks high here. Two blocks high. Perfect. So this will be our little walking area. We'll even put down some nice little glass all around. So we can make it look a little bit more fancy. Okay. Just like that. Oh, man. We need more glass. Dang it. Okay. Cool. So then the next part is going to be uh, the actual the moose smoke part. Okay. So let's put down. I did do iron bars here. We'll just put down iron bars like this instead. All right. Like so. So you can actually look over it and not fall down. There we go. And then we're going to put the, the top part right over here. Awesome. Now the boost book tower is officially usable. All right. Now let's build this design. So I had two blocks high. Then I had a small little indentation like this. Okay. The M is going to be right in the middle. All right. And let's start building this thing up. All right. Check it out. So there we go. We slowly have a little bit of a form going here. I really do wish we had iron blocks. Iron blocks would look so much better on this thing. Or even, honestly, white concrete. Mm, not gonna think about it, dude. I think it's better we hold off and wait until we get white concrete to finish this build. So we need four sand, four gravel, and a white die in the middle to make white concrete. All right, let's get it done, boys. Should I jump? I'm like, <laughs> no point in jump. All right, so Moose Tavern, we got what we need. We have a little bit of white concrete, and we still have some materials to make more. But first things first, let's start this build. This is going to be very difficult, but it'll be nice. 
So first things first, let's get rid of all the stuff that we did here. Now we're going to start adding in, of course, the, uh, the white concrete here, okay? So this is actually removed in the previous build that I did for the Moose Smoke Tower, but we'll leave it as it is now and we'll change it later, depending on how it looks. So the entire Moose Smoke thing has been changed. I completely messed with the sizing and stuff. It's, it's honestly a pretty big mess here, uh, but here's kind of what it looks like so far. So I'm adding in some glass right now, and I need more glass, unfortunately. Oh, actually, though, no, we have just, just the right amount. So I did extend this entire moose smoke thing bigger. So it is bigger, okay? Um, and something just seems off. I think I made it, like, one block higher than it is, but that's completely fine because it will look normal later down the line. And over here, I've extended it out. Oh! That was so close. How did I not take damage? What? So, I'm looking at it, I did mess it up once again, I was supposed to extend it out by two blocks that way, and two blocks that way, that way, and that way, but honestly, it doesn't really matter, it's just gonna be a thinner moose milk tower, so, anyways, now we're working on this here, okay, just like that, alright, so perfect, that looks a lot better, awesome, and now we're gonna build the actual top part of the moose milk tower, alright, we're almost done, and hopefully this looks good. Let's find out. Ready? Hoop. Let's go over here. Honestly, it kind of looks like an egg. It does look like an egg a little bit. <laughs> it looks like an egg. I mean, if we do this and we change it up a little bit like right here. And we do white concrete. That looks a little bit better, I think. Definitely looks a little bit better. All right. It's complete. There we go. So this is the official Moose Milk Tower. We are going to extend the walkway a little bit towards, I'd say like two blocks this way. We'll extend this out like so, okay? So that gives us more space to walk around and such. But other than that, now for the M, I do want us to putting down gold blocks for the M. Imagine the logo being gold blocks. So let's get a bunch of gold and we're going to put it together and complete this. I almost forgot, we gotta find the gold. Do we have any gold? Ah, oh, come on, we have 12 gold ingots. That's not really enough, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, we need so much more. I got a pretty good idea, but we sorry, check this out. We're gonna make redstone blocks, okay? So let's go over here. Let's make some redstone blocks, and this is gonna be the M for now, and the future will upgrade to gold, of course, okay? So that should do the trick. Perfect. So I modified a few things. Now the whole entire base is still not exactly what I want it to be. I, I got this in a different color, of course. But so far, it looks pretty good. I added a small little bit of detail. So let's do this. Add in a lever. Perfect. Let's go all the way up and place down the rest of the blocks. So luckily, I did have enough gold for one gold block. And I'm going to put down all the materials that we built with in here okay so let's put down all the concrete and everything that we don't need we're just gonna drop it all in here so we can use it for a future build organization is key of course there we go so let's do this and let's do this all right here we go check it out ready we'll put the we'll put the gold block in the middle perfect and what do we got oh it's gonna be so sick There it is! The Moose Smoke Tower is officially complete. We'll add in the gold later down the line. We can even do diamonds in the future if we get super rich. But I love it. I love how it looks. It looks amazing. And it's the iconic Moose Milk logo. Alright, Moose Army. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new one. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Now, for this week, I'm going to be pushing out three survival videos. So, if you guys want to see more survival videos, let me know by leaving a like. If we get 10,000 likes, we'll make another one, of course. But look at the Moose Book Tower. It looks amazing. And also, comment down below what do you want to see me do next. And I'm going to give you guys a shout out. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Oh, and subscribe and stop the bell. What are you waiting for, man?